Hello. In this video, I was going to walk you through how to do your learning blog reflection for Unit 4. Unit 4 was about Canada's native nations, First Nations. We went through and we did a lot of work in Unit 4. We had our vocabulary page that you typed up the vocab words, added pictures, items like that, and then of course you had the rough draft section that you should have turned in already where you were to organize your notes on the First Nations of Canada. In here I required you and up here because you were able to work with your partners to fill in and organize your supporting details. After that, if you want to have used the paragraph organizer, you could have. However, you were supposed to combine the work into one complete paragraph. In this document, there are five sections because there were five nations. And again, you were supposed to go through and do the supporting details to describe where they were from, their environment they lived in, and how they adapted to this environment. Okay, now to make your life easier, your blogger was simply to copy your paragraph that you finished down here on each of the five of them and paste it into your blogger. So, I'll go down here and show. Um, again, there were the PowerPoint notes you could have gone back to. And we're going to go on to the blogger. In the blogger, you would have gone to your blogger homepage. Okay, again, this is your blogger homepage, not mine. Right now, this is my page that I've been leading examples on how to do it. You either click here and it'll open it up to your section or you can actually just click new post in this blog. I like to go ahead and just click on that to make sure I don't have any posts already started that I forgot about and I want to continue. So for the unit for reflection <clears throat> I opened it up, of course, I did my new post. I named it my new post. Okay, example, um, you have been unit four, four or any blog reflection. Okay, I put my information in here. You you're gonna talk about information you learned, you're going to talk about how you learn, the work you had to complete, facts that you learned about the units, and so on. Just simple little things to look back and actually review the unit. In the Unit 4 blog, I was very precise on my guidance. Like I said, I wanted you guys to have written in here, you and your partners, to create a paragraph about each of these sections, these topics. Very simple, just transferring your information from the PowerPoint outline into uh, supporting details jot dots and then of course making your finished paragraph out of it okay again I that's the very basic thing we did so here was the example that I did introducing about the the reflection of the inhabitants what it was kind of give an overview and then of course I copied the paragraphs. Of course, mine is not finished. However, your job would have been to copy your paragraphs and put it in there. Then, 
you were to open up your vocabulary for Unit 4, where you did an amazing job of definitions and pictures with citing your pictures. You were to open that document up, push Control C, which are Control A. Control A will highlight your whole document. Control C copies it. And then you go over to your blogger. And imagine I had my paragraphs up here. The bottom I put going to go Control V. Now everything I've posted or I did in that document is right here. Okay, I just used my document I had open about how to share a Google app. When you're done, you hit Publish. Now, here's what's different to do than your Google Docs. So I'm going to stop the video. We're going to have part two where I show you how to take from published to turn it in.